Today in his video I am extracting cobalt hydroxide and lithium carbonate from old lithium batteries. So let's start the video. Chemicals that you need for this extraction is hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, and sodium carbonate. We basically need the anode and cathode from this battery, so we had to remove the outer plastic cover and metal casing. So start by removing the outer plastic covering of the cell. After removing the outer plastic cover, carefully remove the outer metal cover of the cell. One hour later. Copper with a graphite layer is the material used for the anode, while aluminum with a metal oxide layer is the material used for the cathode. We basically need the cathode from these cells, so separate both the anode and the cathode into separate containers. Procedure will be the same for all cells. One eternity later. In order to extract the oxide of metals, it was necessary to remove all the aluminum metal from the cathode first. To do this, we had to dissolve the aluminum metal in sodium hydroxide. When aluminum reacts with sodium hydroxide in the presence of water, it forms sodium aluminate and releases hydrogen gas. This reaction is exothermic, releasing heat and producing flammable hydrogen gas. Proper precautions should be taken to ensure safety during this reaction. One hour later. After reaction, now filter the solution to remove sodium aluminate. After filtration, this is the leftover mass of different metal oxides. When metals react with hydrochloric acid, they produce respective metal chloride and release hydrogen gas.
next day. Now filter both of the solution two to three times to remove unreacted substances. A few minutes later. Now, add concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide in both of the solution. When lithium chloride and cobalt chloride react with sodium hydroxide, they form their respective hydroxides and sodium chloride. In this case, both lithium hydroxide and sodium chloride are soluble in water, so no precipitate forms. But, cobalt chloride reacts with sodium hydroxide to form cobalt hydroxide precipitate and sodium chloride in solution. The cobalt hydroxide precipitate can be seen as a solid in the reaction mixture. One hour later. To extract the lithium from the solution we had to increase its concentration by evaporating the water from it by heating. When the solution become concentrated, start adding concentrated solution of sodium carbonate in it. Then again start heating up the solution because the solubility of lithium carbonate decreased with the increase in temperature. One hour later. The lithium carbonate has precipitated out. Now filter the solution to obtain lithium carbonate from it. This is the precipitate of cobalt hydroxide that I get after filtrating the solution. This is what the cobalt hydroxide looks like after dehydrating it. The impurities are still present in both products. They can be used for various reactions. If you're interested in a video about purification of these two products, please comment below.